Less well known than the iconic Sopwith Camel, the SE-5A was at least as successful as a fighter. It was designed by H.P. Foland, J. Kenworthy and Major F.W. Gooden of the Royal Aircraft Factory and was faster, stronger and easier to fly than the Camel and whilst marginally less manoeuvrable was a more stable gun platform and the aircraft of choice for First World War fighter races such as Bishop, Manic and McCudden. The first SE-5 went to France in April 1917 with number 56 squadron a modified version, the SE-5A, powered by the 200 horsepower geared Hispano Suiza engine, was introduced in June 1917. The Hispano Suiza engine proved very unreliable due to manufacturing faults and construction lagged behind airframe manufacture, so the SE-5A was not available in quantity until well into 1918. Eventually, installing the much improved Wolsey W4A Viper engine solved the problem. The Viper's radiator was square and bulky with short horizontal shutters. The SE-5A was fast, strong, easy to fly and proved to be a formidable fighter. It was superior to the Albatross B-3 and the D-5, the Fultz B-3 and the Fokker DR-1 and was a match for the excellent Fokker D-7 that appeared in May 1918. Only 77 original SE-5s were built before the improved SE-5A took over. In total 5,205 SE-5s and 5As were built by six manufacturers including Austin Motors and Vickers. SE-5As equipped 24 squadrons of the Royal Flying Corps and Royal Air Force in France, Palestine, Macedonia, Mesopotamia and the United Kingdom. GEBIA was built around 1917 and issued serial F-904. It's known to have been used as a sign-writing aircraft in the mid-twenties and was rediscovered in 1955 hanging from the roof of the Armstrong Whitley flight shed at Whitley, Oxfordshire. It was taken from there to the Royal Aircraft Establishment, Farnborough, for restoration by staff and apprentices. Powered originally by a 200 horsepower Hispano Suiza engine, this was replaced by the less troublesome 200 horsepower Wolsey Viper in 1975. 